Hey there, RC Girl here. Today we're taking a look at the latest release from Traxxas. This is the TRX 4M High Trail. It was only a matter of time until they high trailed their 118th line of RC crawlers. This is the Chevy K10 Cheyenne. The high trail edition gives you 25% more ground clearance as well as a longer wheelbase. In this video, we're gonna unbox this, talk about all the features and how it compares to the original TRX 4M and run it for the first time. Let's take it away. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm all about helping people grow in the remote control hobby. So if you don't wanna miss my next video, make sure to subscribe. And as always, huge thank you to my growing community of patrons on Patreon, helping me bring more RC content to you guys. So thank you so much. All right, let's dive on in. This box is so cute, so tiny. Uh, this is fully ready to run. Everything included in the box, including transmitter, charger, battery. The only thing you'll need to pick up is four AA batteries for the transmitter. The TRX 4M 118th crawlers have been out for a little bit now with the release of the Land Rover Defender and the Ford Bronco. I actually reviewed the TRX 4M Bronco earlier this year. I'll put a link to that video. And they're expanding that line with the high trail edition Chevy K10 Cheyenne. So they do actually have the Chevy K10 available in the 1 10th scale version TRX 4. I won't be surprised if they add more high trails soon as they have with the 1 10th scale TRX 4 line. So you'll probably see a couple other body styles coming out. First off, these are available in two colors currently, this red one here and this blue one. And I believe the one that I got is actually the blue one. These are the same two color options available for the 1 10th scale version. Red one looks pretty sick. One cool thing I noticed initially is that this actually has LED lights integrated into the truck. On my Bronco, I actually had to get a separate light kit and install that myself. Alrighty, here's everything that comes in the box. You get your 118th scale truck. We'll talk about this in more detail in a second. We have our TQ, our top qualifier two channel transmitter. We've got our throttle, We've got our steering here. You can reach it for one handed driving, a little bit of a reach for smaller hands. We have a set button here. We have our steering trim here and our on and off switch is down here. We got our instructions pack here. Comes with a couple Allens some shock spacers, a T-wrench to get off your wheels, and it comes with a tow hitch. Looks like it's a little drop hitch too, so it probably works with Traxxas's trailer. We got our USB charger here for our 2S LiPo. This is a two cell 750 milliamp LiPo, comes with Traxxas connectors. Let's take a look at our truck. It's so cute. Seems like the suspension sticks a little bit when you tilt it, the body kind of stays there. So we might have to break those in a little bit. Nice size too for a micro crawler, 118th scale. It's probably on the bigger end of micro crawlers. Nice hard body here. So you'll see that there are see-through windows. Looks like they have a little bit of tint on our side windows. Elise Traxxas makes their hard body trucks with clear windows. So probably gonna see some scale interiors coming out for these like I have for my TRX 4M Bronco. We got some nice chrome detailing here on the front, plastic molded front grill. We got our lights here, which are included, which is very cool, included as part of the ready to run truck. A chrome bumper up here, a little place for a scale license plate. This truck comes with plastic bodied straight axles. So a little departure from the 1 10th scale K10. We have plastic chrome plated diff covers here. In my original TRX 4M, there wasn't a ton of grease in there. I actually had to add a little bit more uh, just to be safe. These are going to be fully locked diffs, so no unlocking and locking diff function with the micro ones. Because of the hard body, because of the lift, that is going to raise your center of gravity of your truck. So we'll have to see how that does with side hilling. Does it tip over? 
check that out later in the video. Lots of details on this body. We got our windshield wipers, our little door handles, our side mirrors, and a nice roll bar. I don't believe the 110 scale Chevy actually came with a roll bar, so nice to see that included here. Taking a look at the back of the truck, we also have a chrome bumper on the rear. We got LED lights here. Another great thing about these trucks is it's super easy to get the body on and off. There's one clip back here, press that open, and one clip in the front here, and you can take the body off one hand. Really nice. And to get it back on, you just press it in place. Super handy. Compared to the original TRX 4M, this is going to have a slightly longer wheelbase. And if we do a little comparison, definitely a little bit longer in the high trail. You can definitely see the lift here for sure. This comes with licensed Mickey Thompson Baja Pro tires on eight hole mag wheels. So I do actually have Mickey Thompson's on my Bronco, but those were an upgrade and these are smaller as well. So on the Chevy K10, these are the XS's, which are a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, these were an upgrade on my Bronco. Really nice to see that they come stock as part of the high trail. These are going to be vented and they don't have any foams in them because of the light size of this. Though I know groups like Crazy Crawlers and others make foams for the TRX 4M. I have the Crazy Crawler ones in my TRX 4M. Really like those. Makes them a little bit stiffer. Like the original TRX 4M, these tires are not glued on. So if you want to swap out tires or add foams to those, you can easily do that without having to unglue them. Some pretty good flex there for a little guy. These are GTM shocks. They're going to be oil filled. They're plastic bodied, nice soft spring here. They are slightly taller shocks as well. Nice to see oil filled shocks. Lots of micro crawlers just use springs. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood. I thought this had front and rear LEDs, but it looks like it's only integrated with the front headlights. So I'm sure they will make a full light kit soon, if not already. Our servo cable here is going to plug into where it says lights on our ESC receiver. So there's gonna be a lot of similar features to the original TRX4. All the electronics are the same. We're going to have our little rubber battery strap here holding in our battery in place in the center of the truck. This is going to come with a 180, 87 turn Titan reverse rotation brushed motor. There are going to be a lot of interchangeable upgrade parts for the TRX4M high trail and the original because they are very similar. Specifically, they make three different motors. They make a high speed motor if you wanna make your TRX4M fast. The one included is in the middle as far as speed. I would say it can keep up with a good, nice walking pace. It's not gonna be the best at slow crawling, but they do also make a slow crawler motor, which I actually have one of those. I've been meaning to install it in my TRX 4M Bronco, but we might have to install that in this one. Um, I'm more interested in sort of the slower crawling pace, uh, but totally up to you. They have a couple options based on your interests. We're going to have our Traxxas ECM 2.5 ESC and receiver integrated in one. There's no on and off switch, so as you plug your battery in, that is turning on the truck, so just be aware of that. This is going to be using two channels, one for our motor, one for our steering servo, and we're also plugging in our lights to a spare lighting port. There is a second light port that is available, so if you pick up the tail lights, which are not included, you can plug those in right there. There is a easy set button here where you can toggle between a couple different drive modes. For our steering servo, this comes with a 2065T Metal Gear waterproof steering servo. Also has a 45 degree steering angle. Haven't had any issues in mine going out. I'm still using the stock one in my Bronco. Taking a look at our front steering link here, same design as the original TRX 4M, a single contact point here, just a single link. Taking a look underneath the truck, we have a nice plastic flat skid here. We have our extended links. All the links down here are going to be plastic, plastic drive shafts. So doing a little side-by-side -side comparison here, these are going to be very similar as far as electronics go, but the new Chevy K10 actually has longer chassis rails. So the full chassis is extended. We're also going to get longer links, and I believe our shocks are a little bit taller, giving us that 25% increased ground clearance. 
Because there are a lot of similar features between this high trail and the original TRX4M, a lot of parts are going to be interchangeable. All right, we are ready to turn this on. So as I mentioned, no on and off switch on our ESC. So we're going to make sure that our transmitter is turned on first, and then we're going to plug in our battery that turns on your truck. Nice. Nice. All right, it's my favorite time in the video. We're going to go trail test this. We're gonna find some tiny features and see how this performs. We're going to install the included hitch as well and see how this does towing a trailer. Let's take it away. I'm at a spot near my house, near a little creek that runs throughout the summer, which is super nice. Uh, looks like we have some scale water crossings, which we're gonna give a try. And there's even a freaking scale log cabin that someone built. With 118 scale, you can probably find features right in your backyard or front yard, even indoors, really versatile. We're gonna try and do a little river crossing here. Our electronics are waterproof, so we're gonna try not to submerge it like a submarine, but have a little fun with it. So let's take it away. Hopefully the water uh, is not rushing enough to tip the car down the waterfall. Uh, but if so, we'll have to retrieve it. Let's give it a try. All right, came back to get my scale trailer and I wanted to share some early thoughts after having run this for a little bit on some different terrain. Uh, my tires definitely filled with water after tumbling in the waterfall a couple times. Rack, my buddy. So usually micro collars or the smaller stuff, 118 scale, 124 scale, you can't really take and crawl with the bigger guys, the bigger 110 scale stuff. So this one, I'm actually surprised. I was pleasantly surprised how well it does out on this terrain. So like it can actually handle some decent uh, obstacles and features. We never glued our tires, whoops. Yeah, so some stuff you're gonna have to like give it a little boost, but I would say that you can actually have fun with this out crawling with the 110 scale trucks. Another thing is I basically submerged it fully and it survived. So waterproof electronics, points for those. It's a little punchy at the start, so I would say I definitely want the crawl speed motor. But you can still, you know, you can still slow it down a little bit. Let's see how slow we can go. Yeah, so that's probably about as slow as we can go with this motor. 
Let's actually take it and see if we can do another crossing. Hold on, doggy. Oh, I don't know about this. Stuck. Come on. Seriously? That's kind of impressive. Uh, we're stuck now. Nice. Wow, this is crazy. Don't mess it up at the end. Oh no, we're filling up with water. Our trailer is filling up with water. <laughs> oh, make it to the end and then can't make the rest. Come on, buddy. Going over the falls. No, ah, oh, almost made it though. That's kind of impressive for a little guy with the trailer. But all in all, I'm a fan. I think it actually outperformed beyond what I thought it was gonna do. I know the micro crawlers tend to be not as fun on like more natural terrain, but this one I would say can actually probably hang with the 110 skill stuff and have some good fun. For under 200 bucks, I think it's a really great option. I know the TRX 4M line has been super popular, really great to see Traxxas expanding that. Nice detailed body, all electronics included. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll put a link in the description box below. Support your local hobby shops, and you can also check it out on Trex's website. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe. I'm almost at 100K. Kind of exciting to see that number tick up. Huge thanks to all you guys for your continued support. I'll see you later.